Hello friends, welcome back to All and Law. This is a medical video lecture, Microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is Nocardia. So before starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. So whenever you hear about nocardia, what are the points that should come in your mind? It is a gram positive, okay, gram positive branching rods, remember. branching rods okay they are aerobics okay they are partially acidified acid fast partial acid fast okay and the most important thing for USMLE step 1 and for a step 2 CK examination the disease you should remember about is cavitary 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 bronco pulmonary disease yes this is a really very important that you should remember about the nocardia okay there are two types of nocardia. One is nocardia asteroids and nocardia brasilensis. Nocardia asteroids causes a pulmonary lesion that is cavitary bronchopulmonary disease and nocardia brasilensis causes a skin manifestation that is known as mycetomas. Okay. So let's start a discussion on this. So nocardia, the gram positive branching rods, aerobic, partially acid fast okay so what's the reservoir of this soil and dust how it is transmitted transmission through airborne or traumatic in transplantation okay if there is any trauma any 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 accident then these organisms can land into the lungs and can cause cavitary bronchopulmonary disease so what's the pathogenesis the pathogenesis it doesn't produce there's no what you call um, known factor, virulence or toxin known factor, okay. So, if the person is immune on immune suppression or on cancer therapy, then he is uh, predisposed to this infection, okay. So, no toxin, no virulence factor known, okay. Right. Now, let's talk about the diseases it can cause. As I said before, there are two types of bacteria in nocardia family. There is a nocardia asteroids and nocardia brasilensis. Nocardia asteroids and Nocardia brasilensis. Nocardia asteroids causes lung manifestation that is cavitary bronchopulmonary disease and the brasilensis causes cellulitis cellulitis and that results in a draining subcutaneous abscess with the granules known as mycetoma. Okay, guys. So for nocardiosis asteroids that causes cavitary bronchopulmonary nocardiosis, it's a, it can be acute, subacute, or a chronic. So it has the same symptoms like pneumonia, that is cough, fever, dyspnea, localized or diffuse pneumonia with cavitation is really very important that you should remember about. And thus, this infection, nocardia asteroids, can spread to the brain and can cause abscess over there. Okay, guys. So this is about the nocardia. Now let's talk about the diagnosis. How do you diagnose? The diagnosis of this disease, of this bacteria, is diagnosed by the culture of the sputum or pus from the cutaneous lesion. If it's nocardiasis asteroids, then it can be cultured through the sputum. If it's nocardia brasilensis, then it should be cultured from the cutaneous lesion. Okay guys, so how would you treat that? What's the treatment plan? The treatment, the drug we use is sulfonamides, okay, or TMP SMX, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole. 
okay so remember in your civil examination they will never ever gonna ask you the dose of any any kind of antibiotic or any 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 drug okay just remember the which drug should be used that you should know but no need to remember dosage because not only for ESML step 1 and step 2 but also for step 3 okay so I'm sure guys this video is really very helpful thank you so much for watching this video take care